Perhaps the most widespread and subtle dogma that influences how we interpret the Bible is the presupposition of univocality. Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion. The fit for this video is venom. And univocality is just a fancy way to refer to this presupposition that every last passage of the Bible agrees with every other passage of the Bible. They cannot disagree with each other because they come from the same inspired and inerrant source, and therefore they all speak with one single consistent and unified voice and from one single consistent and unified perspective. And the implications of this presupposition are that we can interpret any given passage of the Bible by appealing to any other given passage of the Bible. This is the notion that Scripture is the best interpreter of Scripture. But there are no data that support this dogma. It is just a dogma that one just chooses to accept. And in critical scholarship, passages must be interpreted on their own terms. And that doesn't mean you can never bring in other passages, but you have to be able to demonstrate that those other passages are relevant to what we have here. And so if we're looking at a passage that was written around 700 BCE in Hebrew in one part of the world, you can't say, oh, well, this letter written in Greek 700 years later in another part of the world to an entirely different audience for entirely different reasons governs how we should interpret this one passage. That's not how this works. That is a manifestation of that dogma. And I think if you keep an eye out for how frequently people just presuppose that any passage from the Bible is fair game to create context for any other passage of the Bible, I think you'll see that the presupposition of univocality is probably the most widespread and also the most subtle dogma that influences how people interpret the Bible.